little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square. Roadrunner.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee. Oh, I would like to point something out to you guys. Uh, Ted Butler has said in the silver markets, Ted Butler has said that um, the silver cabal, mainly JP Morgan, but also the other silver banks who colluded together to control the price of silver, has been told, has been given a date when they have to get out of the silver manipulation racket. Um, and it is a racket. It, six traders at JP Morgan are being charged with racketeering. Before I go there, going on right now, sorry, going on right now is the Silverfest 2000. Chris Marcus, a good friend, Chris Marcus at Arcadia Economics, is throwing this. Go there before you listen to this video. Go there, Arcadia Economics. Get in there and watch the Silver Fest 2000. I think uh, this morning, David Morgan is speaking, the state of the silver market, and how much silver was lost in COVID mining shutdown. It, it, I'm, David's brilliant. I love David. SLV, the silver trust really adding up the metal. Andrew McGuire, he's great on analyzing conspiracies, run on the comics. Great stuff. Andy Sheckman's on at 11. I would like to say Bix Weir is on tomorrow morning at some ridiculous time in California. Uh, you can go right there and find out the schedule. Uh, right here, 9.20 Eastern Time, which is 8.20 in the morning, I will be talking about should J.P. Morgan be allowed to trade gold and silver. It's going to be a fun one. Go to Arcadia Economics, sign up, and, and watch the show. Uh, it's virtual, so go check it out. All right, so back to what's going on. With um, with silver, I believe Ted Butler is 100% correct again that uh, J.P. Morgan and friends have been told, you're getting out of silver manipulation and gold manipulation. Here's your final day. Unless you do it, we will bust you on these RICO charges. If you if you get out of your position or, or you stop rigging the market, we're going to let you be a participant in the market still. And, oh, by the way, we have to bust someone. So, yes, there's six traders. Three of them, I think, are on RICO charges. We're going to have to announce it. We can't just let it lie. It happened. You have to admit it or settle. They will settle. The six traders will be scapegoats. They don't. Those are human beings that don't matter to Jamie Dimon. They all worked for him. They did his bidding along with Blythe Masters' bidding, but they don't matter to those people. They can spend their life in jail. Jamie doesn't. Jamie. Diamond does not care about his people. He would rather have them in jail because it deflects the blame from him, Blythe Masters, and his company. I'm just, hey, let's let's call it as it is, right? I'll be talking about that tomorrow. Uh, but it is clear, it should be very clear that we are near the end. Look at the volumes on the comics. I, I've been saying for years, everything is about volume. Not end of day, not open interest, not any of that. The volume of criminal activity, uh, comics contracts being bought and sold daily via computer programs rigged, 100% rigged. The volumes are falling down. You could say, oh my God, look at this. It went from over 2 billion ounces traded in a day in August 11th, and one month later, we're at, what is that, uh, six, almost 70,000 contracts. So 70,000 contracts is, so from 2 billion ounces a month before to 350 million ounces. They know they have, they cannot rig the, the silver and gold markets any further. I think it's September, end of September. And then we might have a really fairly traded market. I don't know. But the, on the flip side, what else are they doing? They're taking delivery of physical silver. Look at the SLV. Who owns the SLV? The people, not the investors. They get nothing. In, investors and in SLV get nothing. Read my lips. They get nothing. They think they get price exposure to silver. Who gets that silver? Whoever are the authorized participants. That'll pull it out when they're ready. Let's get this straight. This is a game. And they're trying to change the rules for the game. I don't think it'll be... 
if silver was freely traded, they can't control the price. You can't control the price. You can't control the U.S. Um, fiat monetary system. So that's where we're coming. You can tell by the volumes. Look at that. Look at this. Straight downhill. By the end of this month, volumes will be tiny on the COMEX. Tiny. Why? Because the game is ending. Now, there are clear signs that the banks are taking physical silver into their own possession. All you got to do is look at the delivery reports, who's delivering and who's getting it. All the banks are getting it. These are not individual investors. <laughs> these, these aren't even the uh, industrial users. Although the, although the industrial users are going to have to get their hands on a hell of a lot of silver, they're going to run out of places to source their metal, and then they're going to try to go on the COMEX and the SLV and, and become an authorized participant, it's going to get ugly. How do I know? I just look at the the, the people withdrawing the silver. Also this, great uh, article from SRS Rocco, U.S. Mint Silver Eagles explode in August. Look at this. Five months from August to December 2019, 3.5 million silver eagles. In one month in August, 4.4 million. Remember what Ted Butler said. I keep getting, coming back to Ted Butler. When J.P. Morgan was loading up on their billion ounces of silver, they got it from the COMEX, they got it from SLV withdrawals, and they got it from U.S. Silver Eagles. Yes, they bought eagles and they melted them down into bars. When you print money, you don't give a shit about money. When you can freely print money, you don't care. And oh, by the way, Warren Buffett's in there too. I know he is. It's in my gut. It's in the Road to Ruta analysis. Go look up Warren Buffett. He's in there buying silver. It will be announced one day soon. Then what will happen? Yes, we're going to have silver well above $50 by the end of the year. Well above probably $1,000 by the end of next year. 150 years of price suppression. It could go to $1,000 tomorrow. I don't know. I think it blows by $50 by the end of September. If, if Ted Butler is correct and the manipulation is ending, we're going to have a race to find fair market value for silver. Work I was doing in the middle of the night last night on one of my spiritual journeys, I had silver was in elevated suspension coming near the end of the year. Elevated suspension, meaning we didn't know the price, but everybody wanted it. Why didn't we know the price? Because the comics was shut down. Problem is, these banksters don't know anything else, and the U.S. government knows nothing else than to rig the price of gold and silver and the central banks. They don't know anything else. So it will be very difficult for them to go from a controlled and rigged market to a free market. Reggie Middleton tried to help them with Veritasium. They rejected him. They absolutely destroyed him. The SEC brought down the most racist charges you've ever heard on any filing from any regulatory agency in the world. It, yes, I'm saying it right now. Completely racist. I'm not one to throw out the race card, but read their document and compare that to other documents with white CEOs, and you will see a stark difference. Look at the language. Amazing. Amazing what the U.S. did. But here we go. So we're getting into a point where the banksters want to continue with their current system with the COMEX and the LBMA. But it's not, you can't do it legally without rigging the price. What do you do? What does Cliff High's data say? The government comes to Reggie Middleton, first apologizes, and then said, help us run a fair market. And so Reggie helps them out. I don't know if it's Reggie that's involved. There's other people involved with the 98% of the Veritasium tokens being locked up and held at a trustee right now. It's locked up and held at a trustee. Am I saying go buy more Veritasium lottery tickets? <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's hard to get and don't go on Mercatox. There, there's places to get Veritasium. There's zero volume, so you're going to move the price. Uh, Mercatox only allows you to withdraw 50 Veritasium at a time, 
and they charge five veritasium for each withdrawal. So they take a 10% cut when you pull it off. It's insane. But the volumes are so small, you're going to move the price. And no, I don't think anybody should go buy Veritasium. Not, I mean, it's such a long shot that the banksters will give up control and then something like Veritasium, someone that the SEC already said is horrific and a crime against humanity, according to the SEC. Why did they say that? Because Veritasium would have fixed the problem, and the problem is them. The problem is the SEC and the banking cabal. So that's where we are. So yes, I do think the Silver Eagles being bought are being bought by the banks, and that will continue. Oh, by the way, Steve Mnuchin, you are required by law to make as many Silver Eagles as is demanded by the U.S. public. It was written in the law for a reason. And that reason is to destroy the banking cabal. And yes, I had another dream about uh, the Silver General, the Silver Knights coming in. It was a general, the guy I met. And <laughs> he had a name, General Chan. And I was laughing. I'm like, why, why General Chan? He, he said, it's a name the Chinese gave me. Because they're the ones who are going to be forcing this forward. And I said, when? And he said, next week. Watch next week. A lot of silver momentum will move into next week. If we break $30 next week, bar the doors. Because the only other stopping point is 50 And it, I think it'll be just a tiny road bump. So it could happen at any day. I think it's going to start next week, just like the Rico, the repo, Rico and repo. The repo debacle started on September 11th of last year, but it wasn't really seen until the Monday after, and then boom, then it was run with. I, I think we're going to see the same thing next week with uh, silver. I don't know if it'll be seen in price, but there's a lot of activity going on behind the scenes. Keep an eye on China. I'm telling you, the spiritual knights are coming in, and General Chan, I asked, I asked the main guy, I said that, I said, is that your name? He goes, I don't have a name, Bix. I'm a, I've, I've incarnated on, on the planet at times. But no, it's, it. I mean, how can you name a spiritual knight? These are, this is what happens in my dreams lately. So take it with a grain of salt. I know JC and Snippy are going to love this stuff, but there you go. Okay. Um, and by the way, if you like the woo woo world, our good friend Michelle White Dove has just posted her 111 page report, 2021 and beyond. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff from Michelle. Amazing person. And it's a gift to humanity. These things are a gift to humanity. And I think it's $99. Go to michellewhitedove.com and you can order your PDF report today. Uh, I think also on Patreon. Join her Patreon, too. Okay, now I want to talk about my other good friends. Crypto viewing. I love those guys. All of them. I love them all differently. I have love and hate relationships with some of them. I love to hate them. I don't hate them. I just disagree with some of them. And I love their work. And it's it's amazing. It's like seeing into the future at times. And they get a lot of stuff right. Uh, but they did a full full debrief on Theta. They don't exactly know what Theta is, but they in the crypto viewing, um, they tried to explain it a little, didn't, didn't exactly <laughs> succeed. But the data they got back is jaw-dropping. And I, I know exactly what it all means. So go to Road to Ruta if you want to analyze it. But definitely join the crypto viewing Patreon channel. It's great stuff. It's entertaining. They're fun. They're smart. They're, they've tapped into something that's really important for our future. And so I'm not going to give away what, what they said on the Theta full de debrief. You got to go to Patreon, join Crypto Viewing. But it's damn good. And it is right in line with the Road to Ruta stuff, with the Jenny Moonstone reading, with my analysis of uh, the Road to Ruta, with Michelle's with uh, analysis of Theta going forward as being the new Internet 2.0 and more. The new Ethereum, by the way, smart contracts faster and cheaper. So much going on in Theta. 
so many, I'm so happy so many Road to Ruta members have jumped on board. I have a full Theta page on the private road. And here's, I'm going to read you the first line. The goal of this private page is to get private road members into a position where they can safely buy, store, and stake Theta tokens. Buy, store, and stake. Even if you don't know much about cryptos, I'm going to teach you how to buy, store, and stake. Yes, even in the United States. So go to roadrooter.com, subscribe today. And oh, by the way, if you subscribe, I'm going to send you an already loaded Theta wallet with 50 Theta and 50 Theta fuel. If Michelle White Dove is correct, which I know she is, Theta is going over $1,000 a token into the thousands. So basically, I'm giving away 50 grand plus. <laughs> that is not a guarantee, my friends. And cryptos are crazy, especially in a world where everything's crashing. But if you think the world's going to stay together and be put together with uh, scotch tape and, and chicken wire, then Theta will be the number one crypto to hold. I absolutely fully believe Theta will be the number one crypto well surpassing Bitcoin. And you might say, Pix, how could that be? You're saying Theta is only going to 1,000. There's five times as many Theta as there are Bitcoin. So $1,000 in Theta today versus 1000 or where's Bitcoin? $10,000. You can see how Theta market cap can easily go past Bitcoin because it's more important than Bitcoin. It is the future of the internet. It is the future of the internet of things. It is the future of smart contracts. And much, much more. The future of video streaming. And oh, by the way, Cliff, I was telling me how hard it is to get a patent. He's working on patents right now. That's Reggie Middleton, how hard it is to get a patent unless you're aligned with the bad guys, aligned with the control mechanism. Theta just got approved their patent. Theta got approved. That's insane. That means the interests of Theta and whoever's controlling the patent thing right now are aligned. Sony's in there. Samsung's in there. Google's in there. Pretty soon, you're going to have Amazon in there. You're going to have Apple Computer in there. It is big beyond big. And all the cryptos... All the ones you made mistakes on or we made mistakes on that should have panned out, that didn't pan out. This one will blow them all away. You'll forget about all the, the ones that didn't work out, in my opinion. This is not investment advice at all. And you'd be crazy to listen to me. But <laughs> get yourself a Theta Guardian node. I teach you how to do it on the private road at Road to Hit subscribe today, join us $2.99 for a full year, and you get this mailed to your front door. And you get all the access to all the amazing stuff on the road to Ruta. Here's the private road. Here's the Ruta's data page, which tells you how to be rich in the future. The Jenny Moonstone readings, which will blow your mind. Even the Jenny Moonstone data reading. I posted a couple yesterday, day before yesterday. The new adventure. Uh, that this is the theta reading that she had. And it's very similar to this, except I do the analysis of what her tarot readings come out. And then if you put all this stuff together, I'm just telling you, theta at 50 cents, really? And it's going to be in the thousands? Hey, you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yes, I know a lot of people don't know how to participate in cryptos. A lot of people don't even, oh no, cryptocurrencies will never work. Well, will the internet work? Will the internet 2.0 work? Do you invest in high-tech companies? Theta is a high-tech company with a cryptocurrency component. It's decentralized internet of the future. Broadband streaming everywhere in the world. Can you imagine? People say, what about 5G? There's a couple things. If 5G kicks in, Theta will help it. If 5G gets kicked out, Theta will help landlines. It'll help distribute distribute the internet, make it faster and the broadband wider so that more information can come through. Even if we, we stop the insanity of 5G, 
the little microwaves that don't even work. 5G only goes 100 yards. Right. Oh, you walk out of the AT&T store with your 5G phone. You walk 100 yards away from the 5G, whatever it is, transponder, and all of a sudden it gets kicked to 4G. It, it'll, it'll say 5G on your phone, but you can tell the speed isn't there because it only goes about 100 yards. Either they put up thousands of transponders or they got to figure out a way to decentralize it. Ding, 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 ding. Welcome to Theta. All right, that's what I got for you today. So much to do. So little time. Remember, go to uh, Arcadia Economics and uh, listen to David Morgan right now. Right now. And then me tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Pacific Time. 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. My discussion about should J.P. Morgan even be allowed to trade. <laughs> it's BigSquareRoadDrew.com. I will talk to you guys later.